here we go. I'm Vicky Lynn and Vicky has kindly joined me live today um, to talk about the possibilities of losing weight past the age of 40. Um, so Vicky, can we just start right with the personal question? How old are you? I'm 58. You're 58, okay. And okay. you've been, when did you join Booty Fit? Was it? In uh, eight, it was the eight, it was the May 21 day challenge. Okay, so you've been with us for two months or so now. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Talk to me. We were saying it just before we press record. What was going on for you prior to joining us? So I changed jobs in July last year. I've got a really busy full on job. I work 12, 13 plus hour days on a regular basis. Um, I've been I, I wasn't really very knowledgeable about menopause at all. I didn't really know what was going on, but I've probably been going through menopause for the last few years um, and, and it had all the symptoms. I've had the night sweats, I've had the hot flushes, I've had the aching legs, I've had the lack of energy, I've had the lot. Um, never, never kind of done anything about it or taken anything, just kind of got on with it really. I didn't really know what the options were, if I'm honest. Uh, but I, one thing I noticed was I really, really gained weight. I probably gained about three stone, which is a combination, I think, of menopause, because it's mainly around my middle. Um, and then also, I think, um, my sedentary job, only being at a desk a lot. And so I was really struggling to do a, to, you know, regular exercise, etc. cetera. Um, went on holiday in April and was quite horrified by sight of myself, luckily in a, in a villa where no one else could see me in a swimsuit, um, and decided I got to do something about it. Came back and saw the 21 day booty fit advert and thought, right, I, I need to do something. This could be what I need. Then read some of the recipes and I'm a terrible, terrible cook. So I was panic stricken in terms of, I'll never be able to do this. And then with my work routine, will I be able to do it, fit it all in? But I thought I'll, I'll give it a go. Um, and it's been absolutely brilliant. So I've lost about three pounds. Sorry. Sorry, can I just ask you, because I'm nosy, yep. um, you yep. said during the menopause, you gained three stone, right? Mm -hmm. And this is just for me to understand, do it to gain three stone were you eating more were you exercising less or was your lifestyle exactly the same but the weight just went on it was a mixture I think some of it I was probably exercising slightly less because I've just of time I wasn't particularly eating any more than I was eating before to be honest with you so I, I kind of didn't massively change but then I've not exercised lots before and, and not put weight on like that so I think it was a lot of it was to do with the menopause OK, OK. And sorry, so you were saying you saw the um, ad for the weight loss programme filled with apprehension because you're not a mm. good cook or you probably yes. work in 13 hours a day. You don't have time to cook, do you? No, no, okay. I don't really. So what was the pro what's the process been like? It's been fantastic, actually, because I love the support group because obviously there's lots of people out there that are posting what they're eating, what they've been doing you know, the challenges they've faced when they've had a bad day, when they've had a good day. So there's lots of people having a shared experience, which means you feel safe to kind of share your experiences. So that's been really good. Um, I haven't found it difficult to follow the programme at all because the food is, it's so quick to cook and to and so simple. The recipes are so tasty. And I've got a particularly picky um, husband who, who doesn't eat very much at all. And even he will eat quite a lot of the things that I'm cooking. Um, and so what I've what I've also loved is the fact that because I've I've enjoyed the food, it's made me change my routine where I'm making myself step away from my desk at lunchtime to, to spend 10, 15 minutes making my lunch and then sitting quietly somewhere to eat it. And in the evening as well, sometimes I don't I don't get to cook until about eight o'clock. But even then it's only probably half an hour. So I've still and it's kind of a bit of a it's downtime for me. It's time for me to kind of switch off from my day, enjoy the process of cooking the food, and then obviously really you know, loving eating it. So I haven't gone hungry. I've really enjoyed the meals. And of course, the, the, the plus sides, the weights come off. Um, and on top of that, then obviously the exercise. So one of the things I've struggled with a little bit is that a lot of your people on your group exercise a lot. They do lots of steps. They do lot, And I'm still not there just because of physical time in my day. But I have got back to my running. I have been doing some strength work. Um, and so I am I've gone from kind of barely exercising in a week to doing at least normally two or three, if not four sessions of exercise, which has been a huge improvement for me. 
Brilliant, brilliant. And it's great to hear that you're exercising, okay? Because obviously we have our slow running group and loads of our slow runners join the weight loss group. So obviously they love their exercise, okay? Um, and talk me through, like you were saying about men menopausal symptoms. Before we go through weight loss, have your menopausal symptoms reduced since doing the Booty Fit Plan? Definitely, definitely. So I, I am sleeping because I'm eating well. I'm not, you know, I'm not sort of full of processed food. I'm not just, I'm not full of sugar. So I'm sleeping better. Um, and, um, and I'm not, I haven't had hot flushes or the night sweats really since. Um, and so, and, and the fatigue, I've got a lot more energy. I, I kind of bounce out of bed a bit more. I can, I'm not a morning person. I'm terrible in the morning. And actually I have been able to get up earlier. I'm still, I will never be one of your early birds that's exercising at 5.30. That's never going to be me. But I am kind of, you know, up and at them. Whereas before I would have struggled to get myself out of bed before eight o'clock in the morning and get going. Okay, and you know what, if it makes you feel any better, I'm not an early bird either. I think the girls that get out of bed at 5.30 to exercise and run are crazy. Um, I <laughs> normally get up at seven o'clock and I'm in my pyjamas in my office going through the Facebook group and, you know, all these people that have exercised are nothing like me. So lastly, Vicky, um, obviously you're feeling way better. You've been with us for two months now and how much weight, just a final question, how much weight have you lost? Um, I've lost uh, with you guys it's about 16 17 pounds and then I'd lost two or three before that so in total it's, it's just short of 20 pounds so yeah a lot I feel and I've lost I've lost four inches off my off my my bust my waist and my hips oh brilliant and you know what exactly as you said um as we approach menopausal years we can really tend to hold it around the middle um, and then you're more likely for disease and stuff. So the fact that you're losing it off your waist is brilliant. OK, mm. um, but thank you so much for joining me. I'm just literally going to stop pressing record and then I'm going to say goodbye to you. Hold on a sec. -y. 